and welcome back to Craig WK Longplay. We uh, dealt with the the creepy dolphin boss and uh, uh, you know defeated him, and now we're uh, just sort of uh, running stock of uh, everyone's masters here. Uh, we're gonna try to figure out uh, where everyone's at and know how many levels they need before they have to switch and things like that. Uh, I think we want to head down. No, this way. Went the wrong way. Yeah, there we go, this way. Uh, yeah, we want to uh, head to Yggdrasil, uh, and uh, yeah, we want to see where uh, Nina's at. So Nina just learned... What did she learn from uh, uh, Yggdrasil last? She learned... Uh, Sanctuary, I do believe. Yeah, she only has learned Sanctuary, if I'm not mistaken, because Magic Ball and Meditation were from Micus. Pretty sure. Yeah, pretty damn sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and switch Pico into the party, because he's the only one who can talk to the tree. Uh, Pico! Thanks, Pico! You weird little onion mutant. And then we'll go talk to Delonzo, because, you know, I think Ryu's only got, like, one level, but, you know, it doesn't hurt to double-check, I guess. As, as, as you gaze at Yggdrasil, full of life and energy, you feel a sense of awe come over you. Oh, right, we gotta switch to Pico. You've come back. It looks like you've been putting my wisdom to good use. Very well. Let me teach you something else useful. Nina learned recall. So, uh, let's see, did she learn anything else from? So the time has come for me to share my wisdom, eh? No. Are you telling me you no longer need my wisdom? No. Very well, then. Farewell. And talk to him again, see if uh, Nina's learned anything else. You've come back. So the time has come for... No! Are you telling me you no longer need my wisdom? No! Okay. So, uh... Yggdrasil uh, only has a few uh, abilities that he can teach you. Uh, Recall is at five levels, so we only have a few more levels to go for uh, for Nina. Uh, let's switch back to Ryu there. Let's see. Uh, what does Recall do again? Uh, let's see. Cast random magic spell. That is hilarious. I'm going to use that way more than I really should. Because I'm sure it's going to get me in trouble. There's going to be a time where I like cast death on myself or something. Uh, or heal the enemy? I don't even know. Uh, Alright, let's boot our pal Pico out of the team. See, uh... Yeah, Ripper's Bronze Shield, you know, Ace Cloth. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give him uh, the breastplate. There we go. Oh, he's got some decent armor. Pico's gonna be a-okay. Uh, there's technically uh, uh, another master we can learn uh, learn from now that we have the fairy tiara and the... Uh, oh, there's something else we found in the tree that Pico got a hold of for us. Uh, oops. No, not level up. I learned one level. Oh, what was it? Shoot, now I don't remember. It's like the... Let's see. Uh, is it under vital? Wait, what? View important items. That's more guilt badge. Egg? Some things you can't get rid of. The egg. Okay. Passport. Needed for checkpoints. Guild badge. A cat. The Porter Guild symbol. Hmm, interesting. Uh, okay, so it's gotta be under... Items here. Let's see. So, Rainbow Trout, Mandarin Cheese, Wisdom Seed, uh, Puffer, uh, Ivory Dice, Fa uh, Flower Jewel appears valuable. There we go. So we have the f uh, Fairy Tiara and the Flower Jewel, which means that we can unlock uh, uh, Mer Mer Merileep, I think her name is. She's a, a fairy uh, who's uh, one of the masters who gives a, a, a pretty decent melee ability and a lot of agility. So honestly... I might give it to Gar just so we can have a spike in uh, agility, 
Because she, you know, doesn't really do a lot for AP or uh, uh, intelligence, I don't think. Uh, she just gives a lot of speed and, you know, some uh, basic stats, I think. Uh, I do believe Mer Merileep, uh doesn't do anything for your HP or power or defense, but she gives you a bunch of agility. So she actually ends up lowering power and stuff like that, I think, a little bit, which is a shame. But uh, a big boost to agility means that Gar's not going to be the slowest thing in battle. At least for a few levels, you know, it can help. You're back again. I see you've been practicing what I showed you. Okay, here's a new move for you. You learned Monopolize. Hey, anyone else who wants to become my apprentice? No. Don't tell me you want to quit being my apprentice. No. See you later. She teach me anything else? You're back again. Okay, practicing what I showed you. Oh, okay, here's a new move for you. You learned Intimidate. Nice. Anyone who wants to become my apprentice? No. Don't tell me you want to quit being my apprentice. No. See you later. Ah, I didn't think Ryu got that many levels. Interesting. You're back again. Anyone who wants to become my apprentice? No. Don't tell me you want to quit being my apprentice. No. Okay, so we're uh, we're pretty good there. So uh, uh, Delonzo actually only has, I think, one more level for Ryu. He'll uh, learn Steel, and then uh, he'll be all set with Delonzo. We'll actually get him to Giotto. Uh, Giotto? And if we get Ryu to learn under Merrileaf, Mer though, then he gets a whole bunch more agility. He'll be super fast. That is really tempting, honestly. Because, let's see. His agility is 19, which is pretty solid. Uh, and he's in pretty heavy armor, so he's really fast, even especially with uh, these few levels under Delonzo. Uh, I mean, Nina's always got crazy speed, so she's fine there. And then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Gar's Maybe it's not even worth the effort to, to even try to get him some agility because, let's face it, it's going to get outpaced by a lot of different monsters soon enough. He might as well always go last. I don't know. Sometimes it's nice having a quick guard. Hmm. Something to think about. Anywho, I uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, figure out where we're uh, heading next. Let's go uh, see if the boat's back. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, let's see. Alright. Killed some time killing a dolphin. Which is, in most cases, kind of evil. But he was a monster dolphin. So, you know, there's that. Alright. There's no use for a sailor like me if there's no ship around. Don't worry, Zig! Even if there's no ship for you to be on, you're still the best sailor in the world! So this isn't a good sign. I'm sorry we can't help you. I, I'm sorry. It looks like the ship won't be back for a while longer. And after you went to all the trouble to fix the lighthouse. I don't know what to say. Ah, don't worry, babe. You're cool. We'll figure out a way for you to go east. Uh, go talk to gil the guildmaster, Sinkar. I'm sure he'll let you use the road. Oh yeah, that's right, the road that was blocked off by magma from a volcano. Ah, great. That's just where I wanted to head. The volcano. Actually, I kind of wanted to head there, but it's, you know, I'm just playing along at this point. It's where, where I'm going to do a ton of level grinding. You guys have no idea. There's going to be so many episodes where I'm just grinding levels. It's going to be great. All right. Hmm, it looks like the ship may have run into trouble somewhere and can't make it back. Mm-hmm, that's right, sir. In a situation like this, eh, the only way east is to go around Mount Zublo, but... As you know, the road there is out. Uh, but we owe you for your help with the lighthouse, so I will allow you to use our secret shortcut. Yes, we have a secret shortcut. It goes through the volcano. Hardly dangerous in the least. We are the Porter's Guild, after all. Here, uh, take this letter. It'll let you use the guild shortcut through the volcano. You got the Guildmaster's letter. 
me. A long time ago, before there was a road, we used a road that cuts through the mountain. It may not be an easy trip, but it'll get you to the east. Well, thanks, buddy. Thank you again, and Godspeed. Uh, you can find the mountain to the east of town. Uh, come back and see us sometime. I will. Thanks, bud. Get out of here, rat. Yeah, thanks, buddy. All right. So, we, uh, yeah, it couldn't hurt to, to spend some time at, uh, the old, uh, The old uh, campsite. Actually, uh, one thing I forgot to check was uh, uh, so monopolize is interesting because it uh, steals all the XP. So feasibly, you would get every bit of experience instead of it being split between three people. The downfall of this is that nobody else gets experience, and you'd have to switch the move onto people every time, you know, they want to use Monopolize. So, the, I feel like the trick is for low, uh, you know, characters with low experience, or the ones that you don't really want to level up that much, you give them Monopolize, you slap them into battle, you know, you have them Monopolize a couple times, and bam, they, you know, they uh, get some level ups there. Intimidate is uh, kind of interesting, it just cancels one target's movement, so it, like, Trades your turn for theirs. It's a chance to do that. That's kind of you know kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's see here. So it wouldn't hurt to be able to steal. It would kind of be a pain to have to run through the mountain. Uh, let's see. I don't remember how much experience or where to find your experience level. Oh, it's just the red bar. Uh, so, uh, let's see. So Ryu's fairly close to leveling up, but nah, I'm not really in the mood to grind in, you know, a random battle map. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, head to the, the volcano. Mount Zublo. So the road itself is pretty safe from battle. I don't think you can get into uh, random battles in this area. Uh, did we explore everything around here? I think we did. Yeah, we did. We got that treasure. Been a bit at this point. Couldn't remember. Uh, so let's give these guys this letter. We'll head into the volcano, and maybe we'll just stay near the entrance. Is your caves a shrine for some kind of god or something? All I know is we found here when we was making the road. There's supposed to be some kind of monster in the passage. Uh, that feeds off fire, and uh, legend says that whoever defeats it uh, will gain great power. Oh, interesting. Eh, letter from the guild master. Eh, you mean you want to use a secret guild route? Uh, fine by me. Uh, just watch out for the lava, huh? <laughs> uh, you're gonna die, kid. Uh, so I think this way is the regular road, which is blocked by magma. Let's see. Yep. That won't let us through. Which, it's probably cooled off by now, so, you know, it's kind of weird that they won't let us just stop, hop on over it, but whatever, that's fine. Alright, let's see here. Ah, uh, loop around. Forgot it takes a bit to get to the secret road. There we go. So... This place is terrifying to Nina because she's weak to fire. She has only a few levels and then she'll be able to uh, uh, move on from uh, 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 our, our old pal Yggdrasil. So let's uh, get her to level up and uh, have Ryu level up so we can get steel because there's some really important stuff I think that we can steal from some of the enemies in here. Kind of makes uh, all this uh, possible, this you know, crazy experience grinding thing that I've uh, mentioned. Uh, so let's see. Walking on the magma does damage you. So I want to avoid it, but there are some things you 
kind of have to travel through the magma to get to, so. Vulcan. This is it. So, this is the, the guy that gives us the all the experience. So, I... Uh, uh, by casting a fire ability on it, it uh, wakes up and it uh, does some pretty crazy damage. It's all fire-based damage. So right now, everyone's, especially Nina, is real weak to this thing. So we're just going to do regular attacks and just get some regular experience from it instead of the bonus experience. Oh, right. Oh, no. <laughs> Ryu's got the fire sword. Oh no! This is the worst! Okay, so... Ice Blast? Let's, uh... uh th 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 ascension. Let's just see what we can do to finish this thing off real quick. Uh... We can go Eldritch. We're just gonna use as much ice magic as possible as quickly as we can. Oh, I forgot all about this! The Fire Sword! What was I thinking? Come on, Ryu! Look at that ice! Look at all that ice we're gonna hit him with! Blizzard? Yeah, Blizzard. Blizzard's fine. Um, focus? Uh, no, we just want to attack. Just need to do some damage here. As soon as he drops a fire ability, he's gonna die! Yes! Man, she's such a powerful mage, actually. We can do it without Ryu. That's great, honestly. Yeah, we get 300 experience for everybody. So if, if Ryu had used Monopolize, he'd have gotten 900 experience. And that's just for one of these guys. So they're not as tough as I remember them being, so that's nice. But Nina's still gonna take a bunch of damage if she uh, has to get hit with a fire ability, so... something on the other side here. How much? Ooh, man. Everyone's taking a bunch of damage. So, let's just go ahead and shoot the you. Alright. Rejuvenate again? Yeah, rejuvenate again. At least our uh, computer friends are uh, not so dumb as to <laughs> run across the magma like me. Alright. Is this just... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, you know what? Actually, it might loop around. I think I made a mistake. This guy, I know we need to step on the lava, but that's okay. Asbestos armor! There we go! So... I don't think she can... Yeah, she cannot use it. However, uh, it resists fire damage, which is amazing. So, it's... Yeah, a little, little bit heavier, but it's worth it. Uh, oh, and get rid of the Flare Sword. What am I doing? There we go. Nothing. So now, I almost want to say he can even walk across the magma and not take as much damage. But I might be crazy about that. Lava Man. I don't think fire is... Uh, like, boost these guys, if I'm not mistaken. But maybe. Maybe we should try it, because I don't remember. I almost feel like they will as well. Yeah, we'll have to try it out. Uh, but, yeah, there's so much experience to be had in this dungeon. And uh, there's a lot of cool treasure, uh, a lot of fun stuff you can get, and stuff you can steal. Ouch. That uh, hurt really bad. Let's see. It didn't hurt too bad, I guess. What do we got here? 800 zen. So we want to kind of loot the place and then get the heck out. And once Ryu has his level up, we'll be able to steal from some of the enemies. Uh, Vulcan. There we go. So... <laughs> Uh, so, I, uh, let's see here, we want to 
want to use. Oh wow, Ryu's health is super low, but that's okay. I think I think we can finish him off pretty quick now. So let's see here. Where is our uh, um Maltops? Don't we still have Maltops? Mandrick cheese, wisdom seeds, while well, Molotov, there we go. And then we're gonna use focus here. That way. We'll wake him up. Ryu and Nina should have a bonus round. Uh-oh. Uh, should have a bonus round! <laughs> Whoops! So Ryu's okay, but Nina got destroyed. And now you know why this thing is scary. So, Ryu's gonna double blow the thing? Yeah. Let's see if this finishes it. I'm hoping. Oh yeah, I think we got him. Yeah! Boom! Ryu looked vitalized. Uh, he got a bunch of agility. That's awesome. Uh, HP 6, AP 1. That is great. So, Nina's a bit of trouble here. So, let's see. Vitalizes medium wounds on all targets, which is a waste of uh, AP outside of combat, of course. Uh, what is it? on all. Actually, you know what? No, it's uh, technically if I was using it on everybody, it'd be great. Uh, so, boom. Regular heal, though, because her HP isn't especially you know, max HP isn't crazy. So, let's see. Let's head out of here, because at this point, I... Uh, around there. Yeah, at this point, I... Uh, well, actually, I think there's something down here we could've got. Uh, nope. Yeah, we walked into that trap already. Yeah, let's get uh, Ryu the ability to steal. We'll give him a new masker, and uh, yeah, this was this was a solid uh, little run. We got uh, some asbestos armor for Ryu. It's probably not good for him, but you know, whatever, it's fine. He's pretty protected from fire. That's the important part. And uh, yeah, we'll come back in with the ability to steal. And oh, Garza, it's gonna look nice. Gar's still got a few more levels to go, so I'm not too worried about running back to Bunyan for him. And Nina's... Yeah, she's pretty pretty low, and I think she'll probably end up having, needing a few more levels before uh, we can be done with Yggdrasil. All right. But on the plus side, once we're out, unlike the lighthouse, we're free to run around. We uh, don't have to worry about... Uh, Monsters jumping out at us, so that's kind of nice. And we can go, you know, camp out at the tent, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, we're good. And what we'll do, because I'm a dummy, uh, we're going to go camp out. Uh, of course, swing by Delonzo first. And what we'll also do is we're going to go to Rapala and uh, swing by the, uh, the inoculation place. And we're going to give everyone some fire resistance. I mean, at least Nina. Balance that out a bit. All right. So let's go ahead and head on up to Delanzo. And then we'll go ahead and finally get the ability to steal. I believe we get it at this level. Could be crazy, but I'm pretty sure. Get back again! I see you've been practicing what I showed you. Okay, here's a new move for you. You learned steel. Yes. Anyone wants to become my apprentice? No. Don't tell me you want to quit being my apprentice. I'll just replace you. See you later. And now we've finished uh, uh, Delonzo. Ryu got a, a decent amount of agility. Uh, we actually, uh, let's see, status. His agility is 21, which is pretty crazy, but I'm real tempted to give him uh, uh, Merrill Leap. Now, uh, 
you know, analyzing everything. So Delonzo set, we you know finished that. Uh, getting the accuracy, which was kind of nice, but uh, Merileep, I think, is a fair amount of levels, which is the only kind of downside here. So Merileep is eight levels, but uh, you get uh, uh, the final move she gives is is real powerful. Uh, she drops HP, power, defense by one each, so you know not that crazy, and then plus two agility. So if we give it to Gar, uh, that's eight levels that he's gonna be not getting a lot of power and, you know, uh, defense and stuff, which for Gar is, you know, that's this big shtick that we're doing here is getting him a lot of physical ability. So I don't know that we want to do that for him. Uh, Nina's almost set here, but she gets so much agility that it doesn't really matter. So I think we're gonna give it to Ryu because uh, the, uh, uh, the only other master... Uh, is Giotto, which Ryu's gonna have for a long time. We're gonna end up slapping Giotto on him for forever. Uh, so, let's go ahead and uh, get Ryu a bunch of agility, because it doesn't cripple his AP either, which is nice, so he'll still be getting that. So let's go ahead and switch. Oops, not a four. We want our buddy Pico in the team. into here. Now that we have the fairy tiara and the, um, whatever gem that was. Fairy crystal? Fairy gem? Something. Oh, a goo titan! Sweet, sweet revenge! Let's go ahead and, uh... Uh... Ice blast him. Ryu's gonna, I uh, kind of wish uh, uh, Pico had uh, and mon uh, monopolized, but that's okay. Uh, s you can technically get a really good item from him if we steal, but it's, you know, I want him dead. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and... Going defensive is probably a good bet, but instead, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, let's just do a crazy damn uh, dragon combination. Uh, so we're gonna go uh, Defender, Eldritch... Ooh, you know what? Uh, wait, no. We want uh, Defender and Eldritch, yeah. Let's see what that makes. And Pico is going to defend. Oh, that's right. We defeated a Goo Titan before. How much damage does her Ice Blast do? Oh, <laughs> not as much as I'd like. But what kind of dragon do we make? Oh, just a real basic dragon. Oh, now we're talking. Uh, ice blast him. What do we got here? Counter remedy, restore vitals. Oh, so he just has magic and defensive abilities. Interesting. Uh, snap? Why well, lowers defense? Why not? And Pico will defend. Yeah. It figures that the first uh, enemy we fight in here is a goo titan. Fence down! Oh, cripes. That's oh, fine. This thing's going down. Uh, regular attack. And even Pico will join in! Because what's the worst that could happen? That won't finish him. That's pretty close. Boom! Dead. Yay! Oh, Pico got a level up. Nice. Oh, <laughs> look at his power and defense. Man, AP by eight. Cripes. Pico's a little monster. I'm almost thinking to myself, man, maybe I should uh, <laughs> use Pico. Oh, but I really like Gar and Nina, so we'll uh, we'll stick with Gar and Nina. But that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and heal her, heal him. Let's go ahead and uh, trim the bushes here. Switch to our old pal Pico. And not do it correctly. Didn't get enough distance. But that's okay. So we're gonna go ahead and 
pause here. We'll get that distance the next time. I uh, definitely appreciate uh, you guys watching along. We'll meet Merrily. Pretty sure we'll meet Merrily next time. I, I don't think there's any other prerequisites we need. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, hang out with her. I uh, definitely appreciate uh, you guys uh, watching, of course. Uh, if you did like the video, drop it a like. Uh, you know, make sure you're subscribed. Leave me a comment below. Uh, we're about to do some really heavy grinding for quite a few levels here, so it's going to be kind of me hanging out with you uh, over the course of the next batch of episodes. So hopefully you like me and my voice as I babble to you guys as, as you can't respond back. Unless you comment. But, but not in real time. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, otherwise, check out GameZillaMedia.com for all my other projects like podcasts and blogs, like, you know, Noobs and Dragons and Legend of Retro, of course, and a whole bunch of other shows. But, uh, yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for, thanks for, uh, watching. <laughs>